Hi, my name is Morgan Bailey, and my topic is physician-assisted suicide. So, um, physician-assisted suicide is an ethical right that is a decision connected with the end-of-life care. This is a crucial step only if and when an incurable disease is proven under all circumstances. Based on a recent study, 57% of physicians practicing today have received a request for physician-assisted suicide in some form. Physician-assisted suicide is an action that ends life with two important elements, the physician providing the necessary means or information and the patient performing the act. Assisted suicide is different from euthanasia. Euthanasia is a powerful drug that is defined as the act of bringing about death to the hopelessly ill and suffering to a suffering person. It is relatively quick and painless for the reasons of mercy. Physician-assisted suicide is a controversial and complicated matter that affects patients who are suffering from unbearable pain. Patients suffering from enduring and fatal illness should be allowed to die with dignity. Dara Comfrey, who is the founder of Hemlock Society, which is a national right-to-die organization, was founded in 1980. Um, his wife died of cancer in great and utter pain at the end. He believed that such agony was cruel and unnecessary for both his wife to go through and also everyone affected by their pain. Um, assisted suicide is an ethical right that is, this, that is a decision connected with the end-of-life care. It's a crucial step only if and when an incurable disease is proven under all circumstances. So physicians are the ones who are the most qualified um, in performing this type of end-of-life care. Um, it's a passive choice instead of um, active to end their suffering. Um, and something that we do with our pets, we are um, very humane to our pets and to let them out of their pain. Um, physicians are actually doing more good than harm when they complete this, so I'll explain that. Um, assisted suicide is simply another option that dying patients have for end-of-life care. Some decisions involve treatments that will keep a patient alive. The controversy surrounding assisted suicide resides on the difference of letting someone die and helping them. Um, under the eyes of most people, assisted suicide is killing, which is illegal. But the doctors aren't killers. They are doing more good than harm. Um, assisted suicide isn't about the physicians becoming killers. It's about patients whose suffering we can't relieve, about not turning away from them when they ask for help. That was Peter Rogatz, who's a physician at the State University in New York. Um, killing any human being is obviously morally wrong, whether they are suffering or not, but it's not looked at as killing. It's simply helping a patient who is competent enough to understand completely their actions and wishes to end their life of suffering with dignity. So if a doctor lets a patient die for humane reasons, he's in the same moral position as if he had given the patient a lethal injection. Um, this ethical right that terminally ill patients deserve is one that is a very significant step in the end-of-life care. It's important that the one overseeing this decision is the one who is the most involved in this process and holds all the information needed to complete this wish. The physicians are the most qualified to be giving this type of care because they spend the most time with patients, understand their, and study their conditions. Um, individuals should be allowed to access medical assistance from their physicians who they most trust with their condition to end their lives voluntarily when and how they choose. Um, for the physicians who are mostly involved in patient care plan and first-hand observers of their patients who are suffering, it makes the most sense that the doctors are the ones in aiding their patients to fill their wishes of dying with dignity. Patients come to the physicians to help them die. The physicians don't recommend this option, but it is the last resort option that patients are entitled to. Since we know that physicians are the most closely involved with their suffering patient, it's important that I discuss the significance of why this is a passive choice for the patients. So the patients have the right to engage in invasive and intense suicides that will cause a very traumatic experience for the loved ones and themselves, but life is sacred and the abuse of this release from the world can easily be put in the wrong hands and made easy to assist in death for all patients like just depression. It is a humane impulse of kindness based on the realization that we are gentler to our pets than to our fellow humans in facilitating an ultimate release from suffering when it is needed. Only available for proved incurable diseases for competent and suffering. The right to have this option for assisted suicide is a choice that follows the end of life care that is significant for patients with incurable diseases and suffering to have.
I challenge everyone to change their way of thinking that this is not a physician killing the patient. It's simply relieve, relieving their unbearable suffering. Um, assisted suicide is not a new phenomenon. Human suffering has always been a part of human existence. Desires to end, surf, end suffering have occurred since the beginning of medicine. These physicians have an obligation to relieve their patients' pain and suffering and also to promote their dignity of dying patients in their care. So thank you.